Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Shapes IO coming at you. Uh, yeah, we're we're just knocking it out of the park. We just finished our Red Star Yellow Circle combo, and it's just flowing in like absolutely crazy. We're gonna finish the storage buffer in like no time at all. This is gonna be great. We're sitting on almost a hundred thousand of our blueprint currency money things, whatever. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, things are going great. Well, let's take a quick gander at our upgrades. Uh, with this new shape that we're adding to the system, we'll get to another level of belts, distributors, and tunnels. Uh, we're still working on our mixing and painting. We just leveled that up not long ago. So that's being rebuilt from the ground up. Let's just check the bandwidth of those parts. Yeah, it's a full, it's a full belt. There's literally no way I can make that better. Uh, with our one belt policy per item kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, things are things are looking good. Okay, so I need to work on, let's say, this piece next. More yellow, or more white circle. Hooray. Uh, the way this game has been going is it's been going down in an order in what's required. Uh, if I'm understanding this game appropriately at all, which I like to think I am. So I need a blue whirly gig and... A white circle. Where was our last whirly gig production at? Uh, everything's moving so damn fast it's hard to see. Okay, red. So this red is where we have our we had our latest whirly gig production. Oh, uh, and we actually had to do some chip chopping to get that to work in the first place. Okay, I couldn't quite recall if we had a specific part. It was already 100% whirly gig, or if we had to do some chip chopping to get that to happen. Uh, this was our latest incarnation, the Red Star. Oh yeah, look at look at how backed up all that is. That's incredible. Yep, I'm really excited for another level of belts. That's gonna just greatly amplify how much stuff we're bringing in. Okay, enough chit chat. Uh, right, whirly gig, white circle. The white circle, I'm not super worried about. The whirly gig, I more am. I don't know what the shape is. What is this shape? If this is a circle and this is a square, and I've been calling this a star, and this is a half circle, or half, <laughs> half square, <laughs> and this is a half circle, quarter circle, half square, I don't know what to call this guy. I've been calling it a whirly gig, and a whirly gig is like northern United States version of a pinwheel. It's, it's a pinwheel, but... It's a whirly gig. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh me oh my. Okay, I need, I need something that resembles a pinwheel. I'll accept anything. I'll accept 100%, half a percent. If I got a quarter percent that thing, I'll take it. Whatever. Uh, not really finding nothing. Uh, where are we in relation to the hub? We were in the north. Let's go northwest. I don't think we've gone this direction much. Searching for... Okay, so that is half of a pinwheel. That is half of a, half of a square, a quarter of a pinwheel, a quarter of a circle. Did I get this right? Yes. It's half square, half pinwheel. Okay. We're gonna get our next upgrade before I'm able to find this part, aren't I? Or aren't we? Circle, okay. Is it being eaten by red? It's being completely consumed by red. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of half circle stuff here. So I don't mind doing some slice and some Dyson. That's not a real. That's not really a problem to me. Um, I'm gonna search for like another minute. I'm just gonna say nuts to it. We're just gonna get get at it. Don't really see. Okay, that's a quarter pinwheel, and that's a quarter pinwheel too. I'm not seeing really anything that matches what I want. 
That is a mess. That's what that is. Finding the right piece is going to make this a lot easier, but it's, like I said in the last few episodes or whatever, it's absolutely not a deal breaker. We could just as easily get through and do like one or two preemptive steps. It's not awful. I just wish we could avoid it. But like I said, I'm not going to cry too hard. All right, where's this half at? There's a lot of half here. That looks really good. I need to find a circle now. I think we found a circle, yeah, over here that was getting consumed by... Oh, no, this is a different one being consumed by... Oh, here we are. Here, here, here. Yep. Circle. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So I got my circle. I got my half. I have all the colors under the sun here. I just need this blue right now. I think we're going to build out. Out of direction. And then Circle can come over here, get painted, and then we'll merge somewhere. I don't know. Uh, not thinking too hard about it. Let's just get started. I am itchy to do some building. Okay, so what are we aiming for? 16, I guess? Again? Oh, I lost count already. 2, 4, 6, 8... That seems about right. Okay, let's agree. 16 is our magic number from now on. <laughs> that last project, not the last one, but the one before that kind of got me. Because I was like, oh crap, I only did 12 in this one part and not everywhere else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I can't, I can't count. I can't, this game has shattered me in terms of spatial reasoning and counting or something. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't need nearly this much extraction, but just make sure we oversaturate the heck out of it. Now, our favorite fun thing, funtivity for fun, is, uh, yeah, painting. Uh, let's see here. That's not quite congruent, but I don't care. Boop. Booper. Boopy. Boopadoo. Yippers. Mm-hmm. So right. Okay, we've got our 16 lanes here and 16 lanes over there. Let's get to coloring. Uh, that is not the right orientation at all. This is the correct orientation. Um, I don't know how much space I require. Probably not too much from here. So let's see, what was the magic number I wanted? I think I'm just gonna do one row. I don't think I'm gonna double layer it up. I think that was a, that was a cool idea, but that was far too stressful, I think. And since all of these should line up, this is a fairly simple process. And I lost count again. <laughs> My short-term memory is so crap. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need four more of you jobos. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Very cool. Let's get the party started. And this is all going to be very, very formulaic. There's going to be not a lot of thrills about it. We're not doing any fancy layering this time. We're not trying anything super compact. I just want to get the parts to the machines and the machines to the parts. So this is going to be very simple. There's going to be zero... Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot about something fairly critically. Uh, we have to do cutting and stuff. I forgot about all that immediately. I was so excited to just get started. Okay. Well. How do we do? We could rotate, cut, merge, or cut, cut, rotate, merge. I think I want to rotate first. I'm going to need 16 of these jerks. Ugh. 
Thank you for saving my progress. Excellent. Actually, I'm gonna need 16. No, that's right. Yeah, 16 of them. Um, I guess let's rotate first. And then the idea is we cut here. I'm going to need some more room. Uh, something like this. We cut, we feed both into the system. And then we merge. Um, I have to throw out some of this because it's part square. Uh, can we do that backwards so the mergers are on top of each other? Bum bum ba dum bum. Um, how would we do that? Hmm. I want to make it so that these aren't there, but it, that would mean more rotating, right? So this would have to rotate twice. I'm trying to think of how we could... Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that does it. I think that'll do it. I'm not sure. The point is we experiment, yeah? That's the bigger... That's the bigger takeaway here. Don't know how something's gonna work? Try it! <laughs> you can't break anything. Just try it. Okay, you plug in there. You plug in there. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I want. So if we do something like this... Trash, trash. And we do our mergey boy. Where's our... There we are. And we do something like this. Okay, that makes it a bit more uniform. I like that. Now the problem is if I do this, this specifically limits the line from 16 to 8. And I don't want 8. I want 16. So I could split it again here. That seems like a really bad bandwidth problem. How quickly does this work? Not... no. Nope. Nope. Not even close. Not even... well... The other thing is I'm also cutting the shapes down by one. Oh gosh, all this math is starting to make my head hurt. We'll take this one step at a time. Everything will be fine. Okay. Let's come way, way over here. Uh, actually, we should be facing it this way, yeah? So let's do something like this. So this in and of itself... Oh, so rot... Oh my gosh, I have so many thoughts. So rotating it early isn't going to help. I don't think I want to rotate it early anymore. Uh, I don't think that... I don't think that helps the situation at all. So let's try... So we have two lanes here, yeah? We're gonna cut... cut them both. And that delivers us unto what? That. Oh. Uh... You know what? I have to rotate it beforehand because... If I don't rotate it beforehand, I have to rotate it now anyway. Um, I'm just trying to think this through. There's no way I could do, like, half goes this way, half goes this... Oh, we could do a balancer. We could do a balancer like this. That would kind of fix it. And then a merger. Oh, I need a rotator. And then a merger. <laughs> and that would give us a full line, won't it? Wow, that actually kind of sucks. So the very second this balancer gets out of whack, everything's ruined. Which I don't think will ever be a problem, but that does make me kind of nervous. See, by putting this over here, I'm getting the rotation bit out of it, and by splitting it, I feel like it's causing a lot less of a problem. But to be also honest, I kind of like this solution. The solution's kind of, I don't know, interesting. 
So we're not rotating any of it. Interesting. Let's give it a try. I don't really think I like it, but it's not hurting anything. Let's give it a go. I don't think it's really being a pain for our throughput problems. You see, now I've got a ton of damn belts going every which way. Um... <clears throat> Let's clean this up a bit. I like a clean house. Nope, nope, holy cripes. That all went sideways so fast. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Something like this is acceptable to me. Uh, another four there. Let's get rid of all this. An interesting solution that I don't think I would have come across normally, because I like to get all the orientation stuff out of the way up front. That's kind of my deal. Just get get the... Everything should be facing the way it should be facing out the gate. So this is an interesting solution to a problem, for sure. I don't think I would have normally done this, but we kind of were like, hey, let's give this a try. And experimentation's half the name of the game, right? It seems like it's producing enough. The stacker could use an upgrade. Uh, how soon until stacking? Oh my word. <laughs> Forever. But that's okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, copy. Let's see, how many more do I need? I need... Uh, eight more. So I need... So we could just go like this. There's no need to be so conservative with space. There we go. Easy. A peasy, a lemony, a squeezy. Yep, no problem. No problem at all. Is it elegant? Gosh, no. This is not at all what I would what I would call elegant. I would not insult the word elegant with the legs of my factories. Is it fun, though? Oh my gosh, this game is great. <laughs> is it working? Kind of? I'd call this working. i call this- i call this working, yeah. <laughs> then who cares, right? Oh my god, so good. Okay, pieces are filled, and we did not need any extra, I didn't have to move any of the blue, it all worked out great. Okay, let's get started. Uh, oh, that's incorrect. That's correct. Okay, copy pasting to the rescue. Okay, now where's the next one? Like this? Okay, so just for uniformity. Uh, V to paste last? Awesome, okay. Yep, this works. This works a bunch. This is not as compact as our last build, but this is easier on my brain. This is this is a much much more digestible method of business, I think. I think this is going to look really really smexy when we get zoomed out and stuff. Uh, give me just this piece. Cool. And now Match up all the colors. And now all the outputs, yeah? Ooh, I thought my game crashed. <laughs> 
Auto save, you silly goose. Don't do it while I'm pasting stuff. Okay. That gives us... Holy crap. It gives us a lot to work with. Okay, I have my blue whirly gigs. Now I need white circles. Here's circle. Circle. Uh, green, blue, red. Okay. So we filter this down here and the hub is to the right. Yep, okay. So we filter this down, circle gets painted, meshed over, and that's kind of the deal. So, uh, what do I want? Red and blue first. Green here, I guess. Yep, let's get started. The mining of the circle is not my concern. It's getting all this stuff color blasted. That's more the concern I have. Uh, so there's our eight, right? One, two, three, four, and there we go. There's our eight. Easy stuff. Perfect spacing. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, 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 hold on. That, <laughs> what is happening here? Okay, so I got my 16 blue. I need 16 red. How many spacings did I give? Four, okay. Uh, that doesn't seem quite right. Ah, it doesn't matter. Worst case scenario, I give myself literally what- Oh, God! That scares the crap out of me every time! <coughs> okay. I'm having a water break now. Meh. <laughs> All right, you've unlocked a variant of the trash. It allows us, it allows to store items up to a given capacity. Okay. Since all the resources are infinite, I don't really see a use for that at, holy crap. I don't see a use for that really at this time. That's not to say a, a, an opportunity won't present itself. I just don't see the point to it at this time. Um, I mean, the hub can take an infinite amount of stuff, so kind of who cares? Okay, circles are there, and that's kind of the resource I'm trying to preserve here, so let's do this. Sixteen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 16, ha, diggity damn. Okay, now I wonder if there was a mixing schematic that I liked. I know we've done a few, but I wonder if there's like a white mixing schematic that was really good and I really appreciated and holy crap, I forgot how far to the right this went. Oh, we'll get there eventually. I'm sure, there we go, okay. So this is our purple, whatever. Uh, that's the stacker. This is the painter, and this was interesting because I wanted to get it in rows of two to kind of match the spacing that was here. Um, I guess as long as I've got two squares behind all of it, it doesn't much matter. Anywho. Uh, I'll just start fresh. It's it's totally cool. Uh, let's do red first this time. 
I usually do the closest one first. Uh, actually, you know what? One, two, three. That gets us a little bit more out of the circle range. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I usually hook up the closest thing first for simplicity's sake, and that would be blue. I don't know, that just feels easier on my head, in me mind. So let's just do that. And I'm alternating, giving plenty of room for whatever tunnely nonsense we need. All the underneathies can have all their space and everything. Yeah, the song's not even playing and it's in my head. Good music. That is the sound of good music. Okay. That was simple. Uh, do I have at least 16? 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't think I have enough spacing for this. Which is unfortunate. Uh, we do have some fixes, though. So here, we're going to have to be just a tad creative on this. There. That should that just freed up four lines. It doesn't have to go down and over. It can just go over. Yep, this is, this is doable. This is very, very doable. So now what I need is some Tunnely Boys. Is that it? And that comes out there? Does that seem right? Uh, no. That seems right. So we're just gonna copy this. Uh, okay, whatever. So that last bit is the only problem, and it's not even really a problem. We're just gonna do a little something. I like Adessa. Cool. Yeah, piece of cake. That goes like this. That should give us the almighty purple. The color of royalty it is. Cool. Okay. And we're just gonna do literally the same thing on this side, so... Actually, can I just take that whole thing in its entirety? Perfect. Yep. <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is... This is a little more in line to what was in my mind when we were starting these kinds of projects, pulling out one of the lines really, really far. So it gives the other lines plenty of opportunity to creep in. Okay, so now all I have to do is, let's do this on our own. There we go. Cool, now we'll deal very minimal erasure damage to circle and have plenty of resources left over to do the rest of the job. Nope. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, whatever. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, this works. This works. This this really works for me. Yep, I like this. I'm you can't see me, but I am grinning from ear to ear. I am enjoying this very much. I hope you are too. I hope you're enjoying a bit of a diversion from other games that I play. Uh, let's recombine this. Save, you're killing me over here. 
Okay, that looks like that. That looks like that, yeah? Cool. So now, <laughs> the next part is this. I wonder why that's happening. There we go. Oh my god. After I'm, I'm done setting up purple here, I'm going to hit escape because I do want to see how many uh, belts and buildings and stuff I have. Because I'm very confident I'm not doubling anymore. But after the first one or two episodes, I feel like we were literally just doubling, tripling, quadrupling our factory every single episode. How much stuff do we have? 37,000 belts. Four... <laughs> almost 5,000 buildings. That's nuts. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Okay. So what did that get us? That got us purple. Now I need green so we can do additive coloring again. And let's do something like this. This will maybe make it a little easier for me to manage. And can we just plug it in like this? Probably need a bit more room. Maybe something like out here. Give it give it plenty of room to plug in. To have green plug in, yeah? I'm thinking right about there should be more than enough space. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So this is gonna look nope. I really wish this would go down first and then right, but that's okay. So we are going to do the exact same thing we did. This is going to double in. Uh, it sounds like I say Dublin. Uh, one too far. Nope, that was actually perfect. Yep, cool. Oh my god! <laughs> so much clacking! <laughs> oh, this is good. I love games like this. They give me a nice mental workout. How does stuff stack? Where does it go? What makes sense? That kind of a thing. These kinds of games really pique my interest. Um, I think the thing I'm thinking of is spatial reasoning. It's like, what fits what and where can you fit this thing in this other thing does it make sense that sort of a thing is one of my not strong suits just like geography <laughs> i'm not good at all with geography at all so being able to work it you know being able to exercise it in a game like this really gets the juices flowing for me this is what really what really helps my cognitive development so to speak yeah, I'm a bit... I'm, a, I'm an old chap. I'm an older dude, but that's okay. Still always an opportunity to learn, am I right? My kind of philosophy of life is the very day you decide that you're done learning is the very same day you start dying. I'm a learning type guy. I like to learn new things. Absolutely. That needs to be fixed. That's driving me nuts. Okay. Red, blue, purple... Green needs to get added into the fold, and then we have our white, and then our circles, and things are looking good. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, no, that was the right one. Just give myself plenty of space, because why not? Oh, that could just go all the way in. That goes all the way in. Okay, now... Holy crap, that's close.
Nope, that's not at all what I wanted. Is there a place multiple? Hold shift, okay. Actually, shift actually locks the screen. Oh, holding mouse button actually locks the screen, okay. There we are. That saves some human effort. I like it. Okay, now how do we do this in a very efficient manner? Um, not sure. Oh, um, I see how we do it. So it'd be something like this. Yeah. That sounds right. So... Huh. So this is about what I'm thinking of. I'm just not really too sure. Oh, okay. I see it. I see it now. Uh, see, this isn't acceptable because I'd be missing the left and the right side. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then this stops literally right here. I'm just trying to see how we can make this modular without me copying the entire business to make it flow. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really having a mental problem trying to see if this was a, fa uh, a factorial blueprint. I could say like I want this and cut out some of the other stuff or something. I don't know why, but my brain is just literally screeching to a halt here, trying to figure out what in the what in the what to make this work. Hmm. Maybe we just don't mess with it. I mean, I really... Yeah, see, I'm going to get all this squirrely do nonsense, and I don't want that. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it manually. It's fine. It's literally not a big deal. Uh, actually, yes, I do need that. Yeah, we'll just do it manually. It's fine. In this situation, it's not at all easy copy paste because of the other belts I've already laid down. If I remove the belts and modularize it, we could make it work, but I actually just really want to get this puzzle moving. I know I'd have to do this eventually anyway. Might as well get this work done. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Okay. Excellent. We have our final product. That's good stuff right there. Okay. All this is going to be very straightforward. Um, we could just keep doing this. Oop. <laughs> Not like that. We can't. Uh, maybe this part here. I would copy, but the problem is it doesn't overwrite anything in the middle. Erg. Yeah, I'll just do it manually. That's okay. It's kind of nice to do stuff manually sometimes. Um, I had to help out a neighbor cut down parts of a tree that was rotted. And I have a sawzall. I have a very sophisticated tool for the job. But when I showed up, I showed up with an uh, an axe and a saw. And my my neighbor was like, "Why didn't you bring your sawzall? Why aren't you going to use your sawzall? I'm like, you know what? Sometimes it just feels better to do stuff manually. I don't think the sawzall does a bad job. It's a nice tool. I got it. I got it on the cheap. It's a nice piece of machinery to have. But there's just something about working with your hands 
that just makes it feel better. I think is what I'm trying to say. It's an interesting statement, but it's like, man, we could have been done with this in five minutes if you brought your saws all. And it just, just, you know, a little bit of banter back and forth, and it was fine. And I said, yeah, we could have been done sooner, but it's going to be like 20 minutes, and I'm going to use my hands, and I'm going to feel like I accomplished something today, you know? Don't worry about it. So. Anywho. I'm now seeing, now that we've cleaned up a little bit, how I better want to do this pattern. And it's going to be very similar to the one we just did. And this goes away. And this goes away. And I this was literally what we just did. But I did it kind of wrongish. This is going to have to go like this because of these curves. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, actually, this isn't going to work as well as I thought because of how tight we have this angling. Okay, that's... that's totally fine. Okay, so this is still our dealy do. So I'm going to do something like this. Give me... that. Copy. Oh, is this all I have left anyway? Looks like it, yeah. Uh, okay. Was that 16 already? Huh, yeah. Moving kind of quick, actually. And that covers it? Yep, that covers it. Excellent sauce. Oh, hey, talking to you. Okay. Cool. That's good stuff. Alright. Accomplished quite a bit this episode. We got our colors matched out. We have our blue whirly gigs up here. Our blue pinwheelie boys. We've got our circles, and we have our white paint we're going to chuck on that. And we're getting pretty close to this, and we're more than halfway through our next upgrade. So things are moving along real nice. Real nice. Uh, I'm actually going to call us an episode here. I've got a got to stretch, got to get a water break in, got to move around a little bit. And yeah, thank you for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. Another episode of Shapes IO is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.